Hey, this is Presh Talwalkar. Here's a delightful problem. Start with triangle ABC. Construct AD where D is on the side BC. Then construct BE where E is on the side AC. Finally, construct CF where F is on the side AB and all three segments AD, BE, and CF intersect at a mutual point G. This divides the triangle into six smaller triangles. We know the areas of four of these smaller triangles. CEG is equal to 84. BDG is equal to 35. BFG is equal to 30. And AFG is equal to 40. Assuming such a triangle construction exists, what is the area of triangle ABC? Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. In order to solve the problem, let's review the formula for the area of a triangle. Suppose we have a right triangle with a base B and a height H. The area of the triangle is equal to 1 half times B times H. But this formula is true not just for right triangles. So long as the height h is an altitude upon the base b from the opposite vertex, the same formula is true. The area of the triangle is equal to 1 half times b times h. So all triangles that have the same base and the same length of the height will have the same area. This is true even if the height is outside of the triangle. So area is equal to 1 half times B times H. Now it's such a useful formula and we take it for granted. And it made me think, I never learned where this formula came from in any of my textbooks in school. I didn't learn it in any of the books that I read at the library because I loved math and I read every single bestseller, whether it was a New York Times bestseller or otherwise. And I never learned it through my Stanford math education or even in any other videos. So I wondered where exactly did this formula come from that we take for granted? So thankfully, we now have Wikipedia to fill in the gap. I looked up the entry for area of a triangle and you can scroll down to the section where it says history. So it starts out with Heron's formula and then we get to the part about Euclid. In 300 BCE, Greek mathematician Euclid proved that the area of a triangle is half that of a parallelogram with the same base and height in his book's Elements of Geometry. In 499, Arya Butt, a great mathematician astronomer from the classical age of Indian mathematics and Indian astronomy, expressed the area of a triangle as one half the base times the height in the Arya Bhattaya, section 2.6. So it actually looks to me that it comes from Arya Butt. So Euclid did prove it's equal to half that of a parallelogram, but it doesn't actually say what the formula for the parallelogram is. So it's quite interesting to learn a bit of history that I had never learned before for such an amazing formula that we just take for granted. The area of a triangle is equal to one half times the base times the height. So how's that going to help us solve this problem? So first of all, we have triangle AEG. Let's say it has an area equal to X. Then we have triangle CGD, and let's say that it has an area equal to Y. We know the areas of some of these triangles. So let's express the formula for the areas in terms of the base and the height. Now look at triangle AFG. The base will be AF, and we will construct the height from G upon the base AF, and let's say this has a length equal to H. So the area of this triangle is equal to 40, so we have 40 is equal to 1 half times the base AF times the height H. But now let's do the same thing for the triangle BFG. The important part is that it will be the same height H. The base is going to be BF and the area is equal to 30. So we have 30 is equal to 1 half times BF times H. We can now take the ratio of these two equations. We have 40 over 30 
is equal to 1 half times AF times H. This is all over 1 half times BF times H. Now an amazing thing happens. The H terms cancel and the 1 half factors cancel. So we have 40 over 30 is equal to AF divided by BF. So let's just take this and move it to the side for a second. We will do another calculation just like this. Let's consider another triangle with the base AF. Let's consider triangle ACF. Now let's construct the height from the vertex C to the base AF. Let's say this has height capital H. So what's the area of this triangle? It will be the sum of the three areas, 40, X, and 84. So this will be 124 plus X is the area, and that's also equal to 1 half times the base AF times capital H, the height. Now, let's do the same thing for triangle BCF. We have a different base, BF, but we have the same height, capital H. So the area of this triangle is the sum of the areas of these three triangles. So we have 30 plus 35 plus y, and that works out to be 65 plus y. This is equal to 1 half times the base BF times the height, capital H. Once again, we'll take the ratio of these two equations. So we have 124 plus x divided by 65 plus y is equal to 1 half times AF times capital H all over 1 half times BF times capital H. The 1 half capital H factors will cancel. So we have 124 plus X divided by 65 plus Y is equal to AF over BF. So now let's take a look at these equations. We have two equations that are both equal to AF over BF. Therefore, they're equal to each other. So 124 plus X divided by 65 plus Y is equal to 40 over 30. We can cross multiply. Now let's divide both sides of this equation by 10 and then distribute. This results in the equation 372 plus 3X is equal to 260 plus 4Y. We will simplify this to 112 plus 3x is equal to 4y. So we made some progress, but we're still not there. We still need to figure out what the values of x and y are. So we need another equation. So we'll put this equation to the side. And now let's take another side of the triangle and try the same sort of thing. So let's look at side BC. Consider the triangle BDG. It has an area of 35, we could construct the height from G to the base BD. So we would get something. We would also do the same thing for the triangle CDG. We know its area is equal to Y. We construct the same height from G to the base CD. And we know that its area will be 1 half times CD times the height. So we can take the ratio of areas of these two triangles. And we know that 35 over Y is equal to the ratio of the bases of these triangles, BD over CD. Let's do the same thing for this triangle, BDA, and this triangle, CDA. The ratio of the areas of these two triangles will be equal to the ratio of the bases. So we have 105, which is equal to 40 plus 30 plus 35. This is divided by the area 84 plus X plus Y, and that's equal to the same ratio BD divided by CD. So both of these equations are equal to BD over CD. So we can just look at these equations being equal to each other. We now cross multiply, and then we can simplify by dividing both sides by 35. So if 84 plus X plus Y is equal to 3Y, which means 84 plus X is equal to 2Y. So now we have two equations for X and Y, so we'll solve for X and Y. We'll multiply the second equation by 2, giving 168 plus 2X is equal to 4Y. The first and third equations are equal to 4Y, 
So they must be equal to each other. So 168 plus 2x is equal to 112 plus 3x. Simplifying gives that x is equal to 56. We can then substitute this in to the second equation and we get 84 plus 56 is equal to 2y and simplifying will give that y is equal to 70. So we just need to substitute these values in. The area of triangle ABC is equal to x plus 84 plus y plus 35 plus 30 plus 40. We substitute in and then simplify and that gives us the area of ABC is equal to 315. And that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.